Hey, what's up guys? Today's tutorial is going to be on height maps. Now, height maps are practically pictures that are inside the files of a map that go over the general layout and terrain of the map. So every hill, every river, every ditch, anything that's made with the terrain tools is going to be recorded on a picture called height map within your files. Now we can check this out if we go to Steam and we click on Browse Local Files for the Unturned Browse here and we can go to Maps. Uh, most maps have a height map, uh, some don't but um, let's go to a map that I've made in the past we can go to Terrain and here is our height map. It doesn't look like much right now uh, but this is actually showing off um, the terrain of the map. So every hill, every river, um, anything like that is going to be a different shade. So I can already see from here the darker parts are um, the lowest points. Uh, red here is also low. Uh, something about that, um, once you start editing your map, it's not going to be the black and white height map that you first implemented. It's going to be like colorized, so don't worry if the height map that you implement is not looking like that. Now, let's say you don't have a height map so far, but you want to get one. Now, I have a website for that. It's called Asgard's Fantasy Map Generator. Uh, the link will be in the description. Now, when you first go on this website, you're just going to see this. I'm going to exit out. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select height map. And from here, we're going to unselect everything else. Okay, once we're done with that, now we're going to go on to style. Now with style preset, we're going to click monochrome for height map. It's going to give us this, and we're going to click change. As you can see, it's now black and white, and this is going to be something that you're going to be putting inside your um, files if you want to have the height map set up. Now, grayscale should be enabled here, and for our options, we're going to have to see the canvas size. Now, these the canvas size is very important for the type of map you would like. You cannot just put this into your files or else it won't show up properly. Now lucky for us, I have a notepad set up with the file size of every height map. So for small maps like Alpha Valley, we'll have the pixel sizes to be 129 by 129. And for medium, it's going to be 257 by 257. For a large, 513 by 513. Now, <coughs> as we can see, th th this is what we're going to be using. So for our map, it's large. And we're going to put 513 here. And then we're going to put 513 here. And we can click this backspace here. And we're going to see... Uh, part of the map that we had before and now we're going to want to click new map and we're going to generate a new map so also please note that if you find a map that you do enjoy um, and you click new map again there's no way of going back to that old map as it's been deleted and you just created yourself a new map okay for the sake of this video let's uh let me find one that I like all right, this okay. Now um, we're gonna go to here, and we're gonna click save. Now save. When we come up to here, we're gonna get uh, get a lot of these options for a map file, SVG, PNG, JPEG, JSON, and storage. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on PNG. It is absolutely imperative that we click on PNG. We cannot do JPEG or JSON or SVG. Any of those other options, just do PNG. Now we're gonna click PNG, and our map will show up here. Now we're gonna put this aside. And we're going to pull up our uh, files for the map. So, unturned maps. 
and the map that we created for the sake of this video we're gonna drag this over to the side and now we're gonna go to terrain and right now there's gonna be nothing in it because you haven't set up the map fully but now we're gonna drag this over to here and we're just gonna click it so it's set up properly we're gonna go down to rename and we're gonna call this height map now it's important that you keep it as height map and you cannot name it anything else or else this will not work so just know for the sake of this video and for the sake of your map career only put height map in there all right we're gonna exit out of all this we're gonna go back into unturned and go to editor and we're gonna go to the map that we have I'm gonna click edit and you should see the height map you can see it's fully set up and we have ourselves a nice terrain set up which takes away the majority of the work in map development so if you don't know or you're uh, uh, not so keen on using the little mound you made as a mountain and you want something cooler looking we can just uh, use our height map trick that I showed you today and you should be set up now um, let's go to materials to get rid of the, the black void of unrendered space and we're just gonna click bake high quality and there you go you should be able to see um, the map now if you don't like these rigid size and all of the uh, steepness to it you can always just um, use our handy smoothing tool increase the size here we're just gonna go over and just smooth it out give it a nice smooth down and yeah that should be it and that is the tutorial on how to do height maps i hope you guys found this helpful and i hope you guys stay safe in the future i hope you guys have a very cool map after learning this new trick send it to all your friends and yeah like and subscribe thank you and goodbye